um, Pastor Kezia Chola. Chola is my husband. Uh, I've, been, I've been married for 49 years. Okay, I met her sometimes back, in, I think in 1963. But I just asked her if she was willing to marry me. And she said, yes, fine, I'm ready for you. This, this was in 1967, August. I think there were about, about 12 people. Yeah, it was actually in the church. Oh. I had my offer hair and he, he told me that uh, he likes me. He loves me more when I have afro hair. That's why I try to keep afro hair. Yeah. <laughs> I drew up a timetable the minute I got married to be praying for him. Every nine o'clock at night, whether he's home, whether he's not home, I used to tell God, please, my husband, remember him wherever he is, protect him. In fact, one day he had a car, car hijacking experience, but because I, wa I was praying for him, the thugs didn't beat him up or killed him, yeah? The, 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 the effectiveness of a praying woman is very, very important. So I could pray in the matatus. When I come out of the matatus, I still pray for my husband 20 times. Imagine, 20 times a day, you pray for one man. Yani, God, will, God will not hear. Surely God will not protect. Then in the office, I was a typist. For those days, they were called the stenographers, typists. We used to, we started with the manual typewriters, and then we came to the electric and whatnot. I used to type for about half an hour the Bible, I mean, the, not the Bible, but the Lord tells me, please go and pray for your husband. I leave my machine. I go to the toilet just to pray for him. I just raise up my hand. I short prayer. Lord, remember my husband. Always. Then I come back until my boss realized, hey, why are you not on your desk? Every time you, you I, when I come here, I, I, you are not here. What happened? Where do you go? Then I had to tell him the truth. I told him, I'm praying for my husband. Is he sick? No, he's not sick, but I'm telling God to protect him from other women, from dangers, from whatever. I said, ah. My boss told me, those, those days told me, ah, you also pray for me. Because we always fight with my wife. We break all the cups and, and uh, plates at night. In the morning, we go to the supermarket. We buy plates, <laughs> cups. In the evening, we fight. So you better remember me also. So when he told me like that, now I said, oh, so my boss even likes it when I pray for him and they pray for my husband at the same time. So now I had to pray for my husband. I also remember my boss. Marriage works. Those who are in marriages, marriage works because having stayed with this sweetheart of mine for 49 years surely marriage works you just need to love him love one another love and forgiveness that's all there's no magic love because i love him i will forgive him he's hurting me yeah you have to come down he has to come down and we come down together and iron out what's wrong what happened forgive one another and also, there is something which most of the men don't don't agree with. They, they, oh, they don't. The word "sorry" is only a five-letter word. Sorry, I'm sorry. It, sometimes it finishes everything. But most of the people, even even ladies, men, you know, it's difficult to, for somebody to say sorry. Nsamehe, mamba na kuishabasi. He has never slapped me. Oh, for ten years. Give me your hand. <laughs> <laughs> For nine years, he has never slapped me. Oh, thank you, Lord. When you abuse a, a, a lady, you are even, even sometimes you are even abusing your, your, your mother. Because I always ask men, you tell me here, all the men we, you see around, all the men, they are actually born of a woman. And even the brain they, 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 they are proud of, even the energy they are proud of, it is from a lady. Conflicts. Conflicts in marriage. In fact, a marriage which does not have a conflict, there's a question mark. Conflicts are there. Because there are some... Uh, the, uh, in my part in, in, my, in the marriage, I'm weak in other parts. And with him, he's strong. So where I am weak, that his strength comes in, hallelujah. Because we have to balance. And then, then the, there's that love, which is the greatest of all. 
because again the Lord gave me when I entered into ministry eight years ago the Lord gave me uh, five pillars of marriage which are very important that is uh, love and communication being one pillar love and communication because if you don't love him you will not even communicate to him it's a very powerful pillar then we have uh, forgiveness we have to sit down wherever there is a misunderstanding conflict there's bitterness and what no anger and what we have to sit down and say please you did a b c d eh, to me and i was hurt can we forgive one another anger will not help anything you can't sort out anything with anger we pray together and he has always been down to earth oh let's okay forgive me then we shake hand have you forgiven me give me your hand he has been telling me Give me your hand. Have you forgiven me? Give me your hand. And then shh, everything else goes on. This pillar is very effective because sometimes you have to buy a gift to your sweetheart. Eh? He has been buying gifts for me. Recently he bought me a handkerchief. A handkerchief is something small, but you remember the spirit behind that handkerchief, the love behind that handkerchief. Now because you have been so many years in marriage, Recently I asked him, do you still love me? Do you know what he told me? He shocked me. What? Do you still love me? He said, <laughs> not only loving you, but I always think about you. You know, it really lifted up my heart. This man is always thinking about me. Eh? I mean, even if we have issues here and there, he's thinking about me. Where do I go? I have to stick to him. Hallelujah. He has been really working on this love. More than once, we have been going to Mombasa for a holiday. Hallelujah. To a hotel. Oh my God. Pack up things, we are going somewhere. Ah, Mombasa. Yeah? At the seashore there. Marriage, people should, should take it just a, bit, a, a little bit simple. You know, take it simple and it, all the time, you know, you laugh with one another. If you have children, play with, the, with them around. Yeah, he's old, but he's old is gold. And he's still very handsome. To me, he's the most handsome man in the whole world. Hallelujah. Now if I were to get married, I would get married the same man. Hallelujah. Because, you know, I carry him in my heart. You have to carry your sweetheart in your heart. Wherever he goes, I mean, you know, I know uh, he also carries me in his heart. And that is why it is called marriage.